The Earth Pressure Balance TPM is specifically designed to excavate cohesive soil, silt and clay. The assembly typically occurs at the bottom of a shaft, within a cut and cover excavation or a station, as in this subway project. Using a huge crane, the three components of the shield and cutter head are shifted below and installed at the bottom level. Following the shields, the different TBM gantries are installed and connected to the shields. The first critical operation is the launch of the EPB TBM. The tunnel specialist must control the pressure and avoid water inflow in the shaft or station. The EPB TBM is based on the principle of using its own thrust and forward movements to apply and maintain pressure on the face. The face support pressure is applied by utilizing the soil just excavated, collected and pressurized. The muck extraction from the excavation chamber is done through a rotating screw conveyor. The extracted quantity is proportional to the screw rotation speed, whereas the excavated quantity is proportional to the TBM's penetration rate. When the thrust cylinder is completely extended, it is possible to build a new ring. The EPB machines require water and or conditioners, such as foam and polymer, to maintain proper consistency of the muck. In an EPB machine, we can directly weigh the muck coming out of the chamber on the TBM screw conveyor, or measure its volume with a laser scanner and or weigh it on the belt conveyor. In addition to the basic functions of muck extraction and control of face support pressure, the screw conveyor allows for the dissipation of the pressure from the maximum value on the bottom level of the chamber to the atmospheric level at the discharge gate through the formation of so-called plug of material alongside the screw itself. A dynamic equilibrium based on the balance between the excavated and the extracted volume is created inside the excavation chamber. To obtain this equilibrium, variation of the screw rotation speed must be a function of the TBM penetration rate. Once gone past the screw conveyor, the material goes over the conveyor belt of the TBM and discharges into the mucking car of the train. The train then transports all the material back to the launching shaft or station. With a gantry crane or a similar lifting device, the muck car is lifted to the surface and discharged in a dedicated spoils area. The material is then transported to its final disposal area. During the excavation, the TBM requires planned hyperbaric interventions using the manlock installed within the machine. Specialized personnel with the proper certificates can execute these interventions. In case of an emergency, non-planned hyperbaric intervention will be activated and an intervention in the cutter head chamber will be carried out to check the front face condition.